See how you see that kind of charcoal in the cake? It's just that little. <laughs> Assuming you're Alfred. Master Kent. He said you'd come. Now let's hope you're not too late. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This is going to be my new Superman Justice League Snyder Cut video. Zack Snyder explained a little bit about what's going on with the black suit during the movie, why he used it, why Superman is wearing it, where it came from. He also dropped a crazy looking Steppenwolf preview for what he's going to look like during the movie. So we'll break it all down. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the Easter eggs. DC fandom is coming up in a couple weeks. There is going to be a ton of DC movie trailers and footage. I'm going to try and cover as much of that stuff as I can. But just starting with the black suit Superman stuff, then I'll talk about the Steppenwolf stuff. I'll just number these as we go along and talk about Easter eggs. A little while ago, you probably saw Zack Snyder released a new Justice League Snyder Cut trailer of Black Suit Superman showing up to talk to Alfred before he went to join the rest of the Justice League and fight off Steppenwolf at the end of the movie in that big final battle. Because the Snyder Cut is over four hours long, a lot of the subplots, a lot of the story is very, very different from the theatrical cut, but they were still going to have a big final battle. Superman was going to show up to help out in the Snyder Cut. So at least on that level, there were some similarities, even though the fight itself went down very differently. But a lot of people saw this scene and recognized it as a different version of another deleted scene that we'd already gotten a couple years ago after the theatrical cut came out. And not just an alternate take of a similar scene, but the exact same scene, moment for moment, and the only difference is that Superman is wearing the black suit from the comics instead of the classic red, blue, and yellow suit. So Zack Snyder told this big story about where this black suit came from, why Superman chooses to wear it in this version of the movie in the Snyder Cut, and what he had to do, what Zack Snyder had to do to accomplish the actual suit itself on screen. It's all fascinating, and some of it's kind of funny too, the way he talks about it. If you remember way back before the theatrical cut came out when they were still doing reshoots, people were talking about black suit Superman. There were a lot of theories about how it was going to show up during the movie. Zack Snyder's story debunks a couple of those rumors and confirms a couple other ones. But the way he explained it is that Superman gets his black suit from this other deleted scene, which is just more Snyder cut footage of him going to the Kryptonian ship, the DCEU version of the Fortress of Solitude, after he's been raised from the dead, after he's talked to Lois, when he's getting ready to go join the Justice League. So it's happening before this Alfred scene. So you see Superman going to a different wing of the Kryptonian ship, looking at the different armor he has available to him. A lot of you saw this and freaked out about that Kryptonian Warframe. It would have been really cool for him to step into that for a couple minutes. You notice the black suit behind him too. But this is just meant to be an Easter egg for the return of Superman in the comics. If you didn't read that storyline, they did a version of that in the animated movies in the reign of the Superman, but it was very different from the comic book version. When Superman died, a bunch of mystery Superman pop up. When he comes back to defeat Cyborg Superman, who's the real villain of that story arc, he comes back inside a Warframe wearing the black suit with the biggest mullet that you've ever seen because this is all happening back during the 90s. That's why when people were posting all the fan art of Henry Cavill in the black suit, they were drawing him with mullets just because of the comic book storyline. And there were a couple reasons why he picked it instead of the classic red, blue, yellow suit. The first reason was a more practical reason. Zack Snyder explained that during his fight with Doomsday in Batman v Superman, you had this giant spike driven through the classic suit, so it was effectively damaged. He couldn't just throw it back on again, and he didn't have the skills himself to know how to repair Kryptonian fabric like that. I'm sure given enough time, the Kryptonian ship could have given him the instructions to repair the suit, but he needed to join the fight. The clock was ticking, and the black suit was just sitting there ready to go, so that's why he put that one on instead. The other more thematic reason why Zack Snyder said he's wearing the black suit during this movie is because of his overall arc that started with Man of Steel and went through Batman v Superman. So he said during his movies, starting with Man of Steel, he wanted to take Superman on this full arc, first discovering what it means to be Superman, where he fits in with the world, how he relates to humanity through Lois Lane, why she's such an important character, how he becomes this big symbol for the people, Earth's greatest protector, its greatest hero. But he wasn't going to get to that point till the end of Justice League after he comes back from the dead effectively. 
The whole subplot with the evil black suit Superman stuff during the Snyder Cut was just him at his lowest point. Then you have Lois Lane showing up, effectively saving him, bringing him back from the brink. So the black suit is just the next step in him hitting his peak eventually at the end of the first Justice League movie. They were going to be heading into the second movie with him just being full-blown classic comic book Superman the way you expect him, the greatest version of Superman. The reason why the actual black suit is sitting here on the Kryptonian ship waiting for him though because Superman didn't make it himself, it's just sitting there ready to go, is because this scout ship is from the House of El and their crest has not changed in thousands of years. The ship has been sitting here for a long, long time in the ice. You notice in that Man of Steel prequel sequence where you have Zod, you have Jor-El, you have the other Kryptonians, they walk around in those base layers underneath their armor. They're all black suits. It's literally just what it is. It's just Superman's base layer intended to go underneath Kryptonian armor, but because of Superman's abilities under Earth's yellow sun, he doesn't need armor, so he just wears the base layer as a normal suit. The way the DC people refer to the suit during this big behind the scenes promo is as the evil Superman suit, also just confirming some of the subplots during the Snyder Cut. It's more of him just fighting the Justice League, that's why they're calling it evil Superman. A lot of that gets into the way Superman is resurrected during the Snyder Cut. Remember, a lot of the plot is going to be very different, so the way they resurrect him during the Snyder Cut will be completely different from the theatrical cut. The way that Zack Snyder said that he practically accomplished this black suit scene is kind of hilarious with him fighting with the studio. So he said the studio would not allow him to use the black suit in the scenes, so they never built a practical black suit for Henry Cavill to wear. So when he's walking around in the Snyder Cut filming all these scenes, he's wearing the classic red-blue-yellow suit. That's why in all this Henry Cavill behind-the-scenes footage of the Snyder Cut, you see him wearing the classic suit. So in order to try and win the studio over to let him use the black suit, they just photoshopped all these scenes to black suit Superman. So you just have to imagine Henry Cavill filming in the regular suit and then them just tuning the suit black, desaturating it, just changing the colors, making the cape look kind of charcoal. It's funny to think of them doing the movie that way, but Zack Snyder said it was all just because the studio was not happy with the concept of the black suit. So he was hoping to sort of sneak it in under the wire at the last minute. They had all this footage of him with a regular suit like the studio wanted, but they could just click a couple buttons and turn the suit black if they ever said yes at the last minute. Now that HBO is releasing the Snyder Cut next year, they're letting him do whatever he wants to with it. He can do all that black suit stuff. So a lot of their post-production is just tuning the suit black in all these scenes that Henry Cavill filmed. The way he explained it, he said the studio's objections to the black suit were mostly that they felt like it was too depressing and dark, even though Zack Snyder tried to convince them otherwise. Like, no, it's a big comic book Easter egg. But the people at the studio that said no, they all got fired a long time ago. The deal with the new Steppenwolf preview, this is what he's actually going to look like during the movie. You can kind of tell where this scene takes place. It's that same fight that they put in all the old Justice League theatrical cut trailers. So it's the Justice League minus Superman fighting him in that giant water water cooling tower. This is just Zack Snyder getting everyone hyped up for that. And I do love the fact that he drops a bunch of F-bombs in his caption. He dropped a bunch of F-bombs during his big live stream at Comic-Con. Just casual F-bombs like it's no big deal, keeping it real. What's going to be happening in the next couple weeks though is DC Fandom is going to be a Saturday event. They said it's only around for 24 hours. I don't know how they plan on releasing all the trailer footage, but I'll do as many of those videos as possible. There'll be a Justice League Snyder Cut trailer, a full version of the trailer, There'll be a big Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson panel for the Batman movie. I don't know if there's any footage or any behind the scenes that they're going to show off for that. If they do, of course, I'll do a video for it. Hopefully they'll reveal some of the other villains, some of the other parts of the movie. Robert Pattinson was also telling some funny stories about how he auditioned for Batman and he tried to lie to Christopher Nolan because he was filming Tenet while he was auditioning for the Batman movie. The way he tells it is that he told Christopher Nolan he had a family emergency as an excuse to get off of set, but Christopher Nolan immediately knew exactly what he was doing. You're going to audition for Batman, aren't you? The Rock also posted a teaser for the Black Adam movie, so there might also be a bigger Black Adam teaser. Hopefully they'll also reveal some more Michael Keaton Batman stuff too for the Flash movie. But while you wait for everything, click here for that brand new Wonder Woman 1984 trailer video and click here for that brand new Boys Season 2 trailer. New episodes coming in a couple weeks. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.